Is filling your water softener with salt costing you too much money? Colligan Smart Sensor Technology saves you two tons of salt and 20,000 gallons of water over 10 years. And that's good for the environment. Right now, solve your water problems for as little as $10 a month for six months. At Seagull Club has turned into a mini Olympic village this week as the first of six teams of Olympic snowboarding hopefuls have arrived to train for the Vancouver Games. Teams from Japan and New Zealand arrived late last week with Australia and Germany coming this week. Italy and Switzerland will be arriving over the next couple of weeks. These teams will be staying for a variety of times between two weeks and a month. The public's welcome to come and watch these athletes practice or even snowboard along. Um, it, it's it's uh, Olympic size 22 foot um, half pipe, 22 foot zog, and uh, that is basically you know getting getting their runs dialed, getting their tricks dialed. Um, getting all the, their everything together for their, for their run at the Olympics. Um, a few people obviously are wanting to get the double cork style and stuff, and that's mm -hmm. where the, the airbag will help out. So the exciting best way to, to believe it is to see it. For people sure. People come out here and watch yep. watch these people train while they're out here. Yeah, for sure. It, it's it's open to the public to check it out. Um, it's also open to the public during the week to, to ride and everything. So. Okay. Now. Now. It's pretty pretty awesome um, out here. The half pipe looks pretty amazing, and the accommodation and it's just awesome. Good club. Yeah, I guess just trying to be consistent and, and try and be as prepared as I can for the games with having a run, you know, and a step up run. Oh, it's pr pretty awesome having everyone here at um, one resort. You know, everyone's going to be pushing their riding and watching everyone else do new tricks and stuff. It's just inspired on what you do. Um, here it's just a bit of training time, just working on getting all our runs really good. And just our tricks perfect I guess. So I can whip them out at the Olympics hopefully. Um, I'm sort of new to the team, I just joined up before the Olympic qualifying events. And I guess I can just type to land my run the best I can and just hope it's better than other people's. It's really cool to watch other girl riders especially and just watch what they're doing and it just helps you progress and want to do better than them, I guess. You know, snowboarding culture is about um, having friends, having fun on the mountain, pushing each other and um, we certainly live that way and ride that way and um, it's a cool, fun atmosphere which is really uh, you know, makes it a fun sport to be involved in. We arrived here Friday night, uh, we've had three days here, and the setup here at Otsego is excellent. Um, we've got a really, really good quality half pipe to train in. Uh, the people here are really friendly, and the food is awesome, so yeah, we're stuck. Uh, we're going to be here, some of the team might, will leave on the 26th of January for a World Cup event in Calgary, and some of the team may stay on right through until um, the 2nd of Feb when we go for a quick break before arriving at the Olympics on the 8th of February. Yeah, there's a lot of anticipation going to the Games. We've been um, building towards this event for the last four years, so um, it's finally crunch time and everyone's pretty excited and riding hard and really trying to pull out the last stops to make sure we have a strong performance at the Games.